Can you be quiet, please? It's what you do. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Staying focused, and it is a Sunday.、Um, what is today? The eighth? Yeah, the eighth. Today is September eighth, and got some very exciting things happening coming up in the not too distant future.、Um, I'll talk about all that stuff a little bit later. But、um, it's such a beautiful day here in New Jersey, USA. Um, temperature Fahrenheit is going to be around seventy three. That may sound a little chilly, I know, but the sunshine is blasting blue sky. So、um, beautiful. With if as long as you're in the sun, I granted if you're in the shade and there's a little breeze, yes, obviously that would be a little bit chilly. So、um, we're going to be closing the pool in the、uh, the end of this week. I think Thursday we're going to we're going to go ahead and close the pool. Which basically what that means is. Put some of the chemicals in it to keep it good, and then put the cover on on over the pool through the winter until next summer. So I'm going to get my last day of swimming now.、Um, might as well go now. It's going to be chilly no matter what once I get out of the pool because again, 73 and wet and a little bit of a breeze, which there is right now. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit chilly, but. I'm gonna go ahead right now, get a little bit of swimming done, and、um, be back. So there you have it, a corgi swimming. I never thought a corgi could swim. Look at those little short legs, but he did it. His brother, the other corgi, will not come near the water, and neither will the、um, the Brittany. So he's the only one who is our swimmer. Thank you. Good job, dude. There he goes. All right, guys. Did my normal, usual Sunday market run, and today I needed to get besides just a few apples,、um, corn.、Uh, here in the Northeast, you know, New Jersey, USA. Here,、uh, since winter is not, you know, fall and then winter, so it's on, it's coming.、Um, our corn is going to be fading soon, so we're not going to be able to get the really good, nice, fresh corn on the cob. So. I pick it up whenever we, you know, whenever we can possibly get it. So corn was what I got. Besides that, I got cupcakes、uh, for dinner. This is a rotisserie chicken. Probably can't see it too clearly, but that's what that is. Rotisserie chicken. There's the corn on the cob. Cornbread because that goes good with chicken, at least in my opinion. And then there's some apples for the week. So there you go. That's my market run. Now we head back home. All 
All right, welcome back. I am now home. Um, it is Sunday, a little bit past 5.30. So for um, all you in the Philippines, including my beautiful wife, um, Aya, she is, uh, or you're probably all still sleeping, um, since it is Monday morning at 5.30 in the morning. So, but like I said earlier, I did have something to report or some exciting news. Um, we are in the process of planning our next meeting. And I just, um, I can't wait. Um, the last time I said, uh, or I saw Aya, we saw each other, I should say, was back in late October of last year. Um, I actually left and said goodbye to her um, when she dropped me off at the airport, and that was on November 7th. So since this is, what, September 8th, um, you're talking about, well, 10, 10 months and a day. Now, I know I've watched other videos out there, and I know there are some stories where people have gone year, year and a half, two, whatever. And, you know, that's, that's tough. But, um, you know, speaking for myself and Aya, 10 months is a long time. Um, obviously, we all know long-distance relationship is, is not the easiest thing, but I think it's, but I think it's not that bad when you truly love each other and you know um, that it's not going to be forever. So, meaning the long distance and you'll be together and that's, you know, that'll, everything will be great. But getting, getting or through that process is, is the difficult part. So, we are, like I said, we're planning our next trip or, you know, I, I call it our vacation together. And, um, I'll have more details in you know future uh, videos, but um, there's some places I do want to see um, that I haven't been to yet, and there's other places maybe that I do want to see again um, that we have covered in prior visits and prior uh, vacations and videos. So um, a couple of places I'd, I haven't really personally seen yet would be places like Cebu um and elo elo and there's a whole variety of other places those are the two that come to my head right away and so you know like i said we're in the thinking process as to which ones we will go see on this particular um uh, you know visit so i guess um i would welcome any suggestions for example like i don't know a whole lot i've watched some vlogs on elo elo um so that's kind of why it's on my list because it's gotten you know good reviews but if anybody has any, you know, ideas of, of things to do in Iloilo, whether it's tours, places to see, um, places to eat, obviously that's huge. I mean, everybody wants a good place to eat. Um, I welcome it. Leave it down in the, you know, in the, the notes below, the comments below, and I would be glad to uh, go over that with Aya and see uh, what you all have to say. So, but like I said, I, we can't wait. Um, we stay in touch like I always go over with the... Um, with the uh, video with uh we we always choose messenger so we do our daily uh vlogs video calls with uh messenger and without that oh my god it would be so much you know, so much harder it's great to just see each other you can show people around what you're doing your daily you know chores or you know your daily routines if you go out to eat or you know just anything any activity it's cool to see each other and 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 do it that way obviously there's always messaging you know texting or messaging through messenger or whatever you choose whether it's whatsapp but again long distance you, know, you have to stay in touch you do and you has to, it has to be a regular thing and uh it makes it so much better um but like everybody says long distance relationship is not for everyone and i think it's not for everyone for the main reason that maybe you're just not compatible or you're not truly into each other you're not truly in love i mean you can't just have a surfacey quote unquote uh feeling towards each other because what does that mean that's not even going to work when you're in when you're together and physically because eventually you just fade away you're not really you know you're not really truly in love people people look at love as um like i call like uh fat infatuation it's like a brief boom and that's it it doesn't last so um a, it means the world to me. I love her, and I do feel that back from her. So that just makes everything perfect, and we love. I love that. So, um, new work week coming up. Uh, like I said, this is Sunday, so a whole new work week, Monday through Friday. 
Um, I have my Saturdays and Sundays off. I love it. That's perfect. I'll, I'll take that any time. And um, didn't have dinner yet, so it is close to dinner time. And I'm expecting Aya probably up in the next hour. We're both early risers, so I welcome. I can't wait. I always look forward to that message where she says she's awake and good morning. So that's awesome. But like I said, I'm going to go over a lot more in detail as to the actual places we do choose to go to. Um, but any suggestions, like I said, with, you know, Cebu, Iloilo, you know, things like that, places like that, I definitely would love it. Thank you. You know, and I thank you ahead in advance for that. Um, but again, till next time, I'm going to say goodbye. Um, stay focused. Like I said, we are focused. Me and Aya is um, to eventually be together full time. That's going to happen, hopefully sooner than later. Or whatever your goals are, just stay focused. Stay on track. Stay, you know, on the path. And don't let other things get in, in the way. Um, because they will. Think If you let things get in the way, things will get, you know, will get in your way. And basically throw you way off. So stay focused. And uh, God bless you all. And until the next video, see you later.